This is Lance Lichter for AA Today. Runners up for the most important publications judged to be significant game changers for the field of anesthesiology. All lists have runner ups. And for the article Game Changers, the 20 most important anesthesia articles ever published, published in this month's issue of Anesthesia and Analgesia, the authors note that there were other articles in contention for top position. In the discussion, most articles list study limitations. Thus, these authors note that the development of the list involved some subjectivism. They present a table in their manuscript that lists the game-changing article as well as the article in leading contention for the title of Game Changer. We have listed the subject matter, the article selected from the list that appeared in the previous post, and the leading article that contended with the selected article. Again, we are eager to hear what you have to say about the choices. Number 1. Public Demonstration of Ether Anesthesia Insensibility During Surgical Operations Produced by Inhalation The contender on the first demonstration of ether anesthesia, an account of the first use of sulfuric ether by inhalation as an anesthetic in surgical operations. 2. Clinical use of an organized anesthesia record. On routine determination of arterial tensions in operating room and clinic. The contender on the electronic anesthesia record. The computer-based anesthetic monitors, the Duke Automatic Monitoring Equipment or DAME system, and the MicroDAME. 3. The American Society of Anesthesiologists Physical Status Grading System. Grading of patients for surgical procedures. The contender, on the APGAR score, a proposal for a new method of evaluation of the newborn infant. Number 4. Development of orotracheal intubation. Three articles. Clinical observations on the introduction of tracheal tubes by the mouth instead of performing tracheotomy or laryngotomy the technique of intratracheal insufflation tubes, and a new intratracheal catheter, the contender on the laryngeal mask airway, the laryngeal mask, a new concept in airway management. 5. On the hypodermic syringe, on a new method of treating neuralgia by the direct application of opiates to the painful points, the contender on transcutaneous drug administration, transdermal scopolamine as a pre-anesthetic drug and post-operative anti-nauseant and anti-emetic. Number six, on the use of anesthesia for childbirth, notes on the employment of the inhalation of sulfuric ether in the practice of midwifery. The contender on Mendelssohn syndrome, the aspiration of stomach contents into the lungs during obstetric anesthesia. Number seven, on neonatal pain perception, pain and its effect in the human neonate and fetus. The contender, on the use of continuous positive airway pressure, or CPAP, for neonatal respiratory distress syndrome, treatment of the idiopathic respiratory distress syndrome with continuous positive airway pressure. Eight, ethics and clinical research, the article, ethics and clinical research. The contender, on the placebo effect, Experimental Pharmacology and Measurement of the Subjective Response Number 9. Standards for Patient Monitoring Standards for Patient Monitoring During Anesthesia at Harvard Medical School The Contender on Preventable Anesthesia Mishaps Preventable Anesthesia Mishaps, a Study of Human Factors Number 10. Development of the Academic Anesthesia Department The Relation of Anesthesiology to Medical Education the contender on the academic anesthesia department model, the specialty of anesthesia and its application in the Harvard University, Massachusetts General Hospital Department. Number 11, on the clinical use of minimal alveolar concentration, or MAC, in man, effect of nitrous oxide and of narcotic premedication on the alveolar concentration of halothane required for anesthesia. The contender, on the kinetics of inhalation anesthetic uptake and distribution, the rate of uptake of nitrous oxide in man. Number 12, on the clinical use of the neuromuscular blocker curare, the use of curare in general anesthesia. The contender, the first large-scale multi-center study of anesthesia outcomes, in particular complications related to curare, a study of the deaths associated with anesthesia and surgery, based on a study of 599,548 anesthetics in 10 institutions, 1948 to 1952, inclusive. Number 13, the clinical use of intrathecal morphine, pain relief by intrathecally applied morphine in man. The contender, patient-controlled analgesia, objective measurement of pain. Number 14, the modern ventilator, treatment of severe cases of respiratory paralysis by the Engstrom universal respirator. The contender, on the development of the intensive care unit. Number 15, 
PO2 and PCO2 blood gas electrodes, electrodes for blood PO2 and PCO2 determination. The contender, pulse oximetry, improvement of an earpiece oximeter. Number 16, the ABCs of CPR, ventilation and circulation with closed chest cardiac massage in man. The contender, on closed chest cardiac compression, closed chest cardiac massage. Number 17, use of high-dose narcotic anesthesia, cardiovascular response to large doses of intravenous morphine in man. The contender, based on intraoperative myocardial ischemia detection by transesophageal echocardiography, intraoperative detection of myocardial ischemia in high-risk patients, electrocardiography versus two-dimensional transesophageal echocardiography. Number 18, neuroanesthesia conceptualized. In the article, neuroanesthesia. The contender on cerebral blood flow regulation, cerebral blood flow and oxygen consumption in man. For links and more, go to aatoday.org. That's aa, the number two, day.org. This is Lance Lichter. <laughs>